The black country and its unexpected green surroundings has always produced artists, writers, directors and performers. It has always been and still is a place which inspires many paintings and photographs too. Artists find beauty in the juxtaposition of natural topology and man-made structures such as Dudley Castle, the Red House Cone and the network of canals which thread throughout the region. Industry is also a source of inspiration and perhaps more appreciated now that so much heavy industry, which gave the black country its name, has disappeared. One artist who took industry as his most favoured subject was Edwin Butler Bayliss, son of a local factory owner, whose painting, Black Country Industrial Scene, is part of the collection of Dudley Museums. This is typical of his work in that it doesn't attempt to romanticise its subject in any way, but depicts the harsh reality of working life in the black country in the early part of the 20th century. Nevertheless, it has its own beauty and power. Its main components are the canal to the right, the large furnace to the left and the man and horse in the foreground. The sky is considerably lighter than in many of Bayliss's other paintings, which depict blast furnaces at night in the characteristic red and black of the region. This is a daylight scene, but a daylight made murky by smoke, which envelops all around in grey. Other colours are used, green, brown, yellow, but nearly all wash into the mud of the landscape, as Bayliss so expertly shows. The red of the incessant fires is a dramatic contrast and often provides a focus to his pictures. The towpath blends with canal, sky, factories and slag heaps. The sky itself takes up more than two-thirds of the painting, giving the impression of miles of similar landscape as far as the eye can see, with only a little optimistic blue in the gaps between the clouds. The man and his horse, the living elements, are diminished by their surroundings. In this, as in so many of his other paintings, the face of the human figure is indistinct, perhaps symbolising the dehumanising effect of harsh manual labour, and both man and horse, by their very posture, appear downcast and defeated. And yet, Bayliss returns time and again to scenes such as this, which now stand as a poignant reminder of our industrial past and a vanished world. To learn more about Bayliss and other artists and to see all the paintings in Dudley Collection, uh, come along to Dudley Museum at the Archives when we reopen. Hope to see you there.